All of the story would take place after the events of the Granola Saga, where Goku not only became stronger during his battle against Gas, but also got a glimpse of his past and remembered his father, Bardock. This was made possible thanks to the last recording from Bardock Scouter, as Goku had managed to recognize his father's voice, reminding him of the last words he had heard from him when he was just a child. A couple of weeks had passed since that event, and everything was peaceful and calm in the present. Goku was meditating on top of a hill in Mount Paozu, where the fresh breeze caressed his face as he remembered the stories about his father, Bardock. He had heard a lot about him and how he had fought bravely against Frieza and his followers, which led to a thought crossing his mind. What if he could revive his father and train together? However, it had been a long time since his death, so he wasn't very clear if he could revive him due to the rules of the Dragon Balls. Because of this, Goku knew there was only one person he could turn to for answers. So with a smile on his face, Goku teleported to King Kai's planet. Upon arriving, he found the wise master resting under his favorite tree. King Kai, I need your help! King Kai opened his eyes in surprise, as he didn't expect Goku's visit in the middle of his rest, but he still looked at him with curiosity. What do you need, Goku? You see, I want to revive my father Bardock. I feel he still has a lot to teach me, and I'd like to train with him, but I don't know if it's possible given all the time that has passed. That's why I wanted to get your opinion. Due to what Goku had just said, King Kai sighed a little, as he knew the request wouldn't be easy to fulfill. That is something complicated, Goku, but perhaps Shenron can help you if you ask him in the right way. So how would that work then? Maybe if you ask Shenron to first restore your father's body before completely reviving him. It might be simpler for Shenron to bring him back to life. So, it is possible. Thanks, King Kai. I needed to be sure of that. Without wasting any time, Goku bid farewell to King Kai and teleported back to Earth as he needed to gather the Dragon Balls to complete his task of reviving his father. Due to his great speed, it didn't take him long to gather all the Dragon Balls, and once he had them collected, he summoned Shenron. Appear, Shenron. I want you to grant my wish. After saying those words, Shenron began to emerge from the balls with a great flash, and the sky began to darken. When he finally manifested in his full form, he would ask his typical question. Very well. What is your wish? Shenron, I wish for my father Bardock to come back to life, but I know it's been a long time since his death, so restore his body first to make it possible to revive him, Goku said with joy. It will take me a couple of minutes, but that's fine. I can do it. After saying that, Shenron's eyes began to glow intensely as he worked to fulfill the wish that had been asked. After a few moments, Bardock appeared wrapped in a bright light in front of Goku. He stood admiring how his father gradually appeared as the light dissipated. When he finally appeared completely, Bardock looked quite confused and somewhat agitated by where he was. Additionally, he felt disoriented upon seeing Goku, as he looked too much like him. Where am I? What's going on? Goku only smiled at Bardock's question, as he was glad to see his father back. It's great to finally see you in person. I've heard a lot about you. Bardock looked at him with amazement and some nostalgia, as despite all the time that had passed, he quickly recognized the person standing in front of him. He knew perfectly well that it was his son. Kakarot? I can't believe it. What are you doing here? Bardock said, calling him by his Saiyan name with a tone of astonishment. You must be quite confused right now, but I brought you back because I want to get to know you better, and especially to train with you. Goku replied, with a mixture of respect and affection in his voice. Bardock nodded while showing a slight smile of pride, feeling an immediate connection with his son. Even though Bardock at that moment wasn't capable of sensing ki like Goku, he could feel that his son had become very strong. I'd love that, Kakarot. But first, tell me everything that has happened since my death. It would be interesting to know what fate has had in store for you. Sure, that sounds like a good idea. After saying that, Goku and Bardock sat down and started talking. Goku told him about his adventures since he arrived on Earth, the battles against powerful enemies, and his friends. Bardock listened attentively, impressed by his son's feats, with the battle against Frieza being the one that interested him the most, as he liked the idea that his son had defeated that tyrant. 
I'm more than surprised by everything you've said. I'm really proud of you, Kakarot, said Bardock with a smile as he looked at his son. Honestly, I'm glad you think that. So, you want me to train with you, right? That's right. I'd like to show you what I've learned during this time, and I'm also interested in knowing how strong you were in the past. Goku responded with excitement. What do you say, father? Shall we train together then? Bardock nodded enthusiastically. Of course. It'll be fun to train with you. And I have the perfect place for us to do it properly. We'll go to the hyperbolic time chamber. The hyperbolic time chamber? That's right. One day outside equals a year in there. Very well. I suppose I could advance faster that way. With that, Goku took his father to Kami's lookout, where the entrance to the time chamber was located. Upon arrival, they were greeted by Mr. Popo, who welcomed them, especially Goku's father. After that, Goku and Bardock entered the hyperbolic time chamber with determination. Upon crossing the door, they found themselves in a vast white space, with extreme weather and an endless floor. Even Bardock felt his body heavier than usual, as the gravity was greater in there. All right, father, let's begin the training, Goku said, adopting a fighting stance. Bardock mimicked him, feeling the excitement of battle course through his veins as he began to stretch a bit to get used to the gravity. I'll have to put in some effort because of the gravity, but I'm ready, Kakarot. Show me what you've got. After saying that, the training began immediately. Bardock lunged to deliver the first attack against Goku to demonstrate his strength to his son. Goku quickly blocked his father's punch, showcasing his great reflexes. Wow, you're fast, father! Goku exclaimed as he blocked Bardock's blow. And you're strong, Kakarot. You've improved much more than I expected. With that first blow, Goku got a good idea of how strong his father had been in those times when enemies weren't as powerful as they are now. He now understood how his father had managed to defeat Gas in their first fight. After that first exchange of blows, both Saiyans increased their power, unleashing more complex techniques and movements. Bardock couldn't avoid his son's attacks, as Goku was too strong for him. Because of that, he quickly pulled back, only to then charge a powerful energy attack in one of his hands. Impressive, Kakarot, but now it's my turn, Bardock said, focusing his energy attack, which he quickly launched at Goku. Because of this, Goku quickly used one of his special attacks. Watch this! Kamehameha! Goku shouted, launching his famous energy attack. Goku's Kamehameha made Bardock's large energy sphere explode, causing a blast that shook the ground beneath their feet, making Bardock cover himself but remain firm. Wow, I didn't think you could do something like that, Bardock said as he regained his balance. But I can tell you're holding back. So come on, show me more of what you've learned, Kakarot. After all, this training is for both of us to improve. Bardock responded with a somewhat serious look while smiling. Goku only got into position to gather his energies, causing his aura to gradually increase until it became intense. All right, then admire this. A powerful flash was released from Goku's body, making his aura grow larger, causing Bardock to have difficulty seeing him while Goku transformed. After a few moments, Bardock could see that Goku's hair and eyes had changed color, along with a very powerful yellow aura. It can't be. Is that... Bardock asked, very astonished, as Goku's appearance was identical to the legend of the Super Saiyan. That's right, this is the Super Saiyan. Incredible, I've never felt so much power, Bardock said, feeling Goku's energy coursing through the air. But this is just the beginning, father. Let's keep training, Goku exclaimed enthusiastically. Despite the clear difference in power, Bardock was determined to continue to improve his strength. Then let's do it. The two launched at each other again and clashed in the air, creating a massive explosion that shook the time chamber. Their blows struck one another at first, but even while Goku held back, Bardock had a hard time seeing the movements Goku made, not to mention he couldn't withstand Goku's blows. Because of this, they both decided to take a brief break to recover. While resting, Goku and Bardock talked about their techniques and strategies, sharing knowledge and experiences. You've truly become a great warrior. I couldn't understand most of what you were doing, Bardock said while recovering from the combat. Honestly, this fight helped me see your combat style. I must say you fight very well. It's clear you have experience from many past battles. Maybe you're right, but it's not enough. I want to become stronger now that I have the chance. After resting for a while, 
Bardock got up again, ready to resume the training with renewed energy. Come on, son. Show me your strongest form. I want to see how far I am in terms of strength. If that's what you want, then I will. Due to Bardock's request, Goku began to rise into the air as he was about to release a massive amount of energy to transform. In this way, Goku began to unleash all his power, causing everything around him to tremble, even shattering the ground with just the air he released. The pressure he emitted was tremendous, unlike anything Bardock had ever seen. However, that massive amount of energy was disrupting the time chamber functionality without them realizing it, causing the entrance to become damaged and unusable, and the time flow to stop functioning as before. In short, they were trapped in the hyperbolic time chamber. Finally, Goku finished unleashing all that power, sending Bardock flying a bit away due to Goku's immense power. When he saw him again, Bardock saw that Goku had silver hair and eyes, giving him a very imposing appearance. This is all Transtinct, my most powerful form. Incredible. This feels like I'm facing some kind of divine being. You're not far from reality. This power is used by angels. As Goku started to return to the ground, he noticed that the room started to get strange, as the place was changing its atmosphere to one of a different color. Plus, the door disappeared completely when he turned to look at it. After Goku managed to demonstrate his true power to Bardock, the functioning of the hyperbolic time chamber had been completely altered, causing the door to disappear entirely. Because of this, they both tried to make the door reappear several times, but without success. Finally, Goku gave up, as it didn't seem like he could restore the time chamber. Looks like we're trapped here, Goku said, looking at Bardock with some concern. Is there really no way out, Kakarot? Bardock asked, beginning to understand the gravity of the situation. It seems that way, and honestly, I don't know how long we'll be stuck here. I wouldn't want to ruin the time chamber completely by trying to fix it. I see, but if there's nothing we can do, we should at least make the most of this. Bardock responded with determination. Are you serious? Of course. In a way, this situation gives us a chance to spend more time together. Not to mention that we can train. Bardock said, trying to find something positive in such a complicated situation. Goku nodded at what his father had said, realizing they had no other choice but to make the most of this moment. With that in mind, both Saiyans decided to continue their training determined to use all the time they had to improve their abilities. Thus, their near-eternal training began, day after day, which were actually year after year for them. Goku and Bardock continued fighting and enhancing their skills. The relationship between father and son grew stronger as they shared techniques, strategies, and knowledge. Goku taught his father the fundamentals of combat so he could improve his fighting style teaching him to control his own key so he could sense the energy of others without needing a machine like a scouter. Thanks to Goku's teachings, Bardock quickly learned to master his energy, significantly improving his strength. After showing him all that, they moved on to the next phase of their training, which was to achieve the first form of Super Saiyan. At first, it was a bit challenging for Bardock, since reaching that state was a new sensation. However, Bardock carefully observed Goku and learned from him, Knowing that rage was necessary to awaken the transformation, Bardock simply had to recall the memories of when he lost his life to the tyrant Frieza, which finally allowed him to unlock the full power of the Super Saiyan. A strong and intense aura surrounded Bardock, who at that moment was impressed with the power increase brought by the transformation. Incredible, father! You've reached Super Saiyan! Goku said, amazed. Thanks, Kakarot. I couldn't have done it without your help. Bardock responded with a smile. But I'm aware that this is just the beginning, so we can't stop now. Show me more of the power we Saiyans have. Goku felt even more excited hearing his father's words. It was clear that Bardock was a true warrior, eager to grow stronger. After that, their training continued with intensity. Bardock felt motivated by the progress he was making while fighting his son, so he pushed himself to the limit to keep improving. Goku guided and supported him every step of the way demonstrating tireless patience and dedication. After that, they continued their hard training in the time chamber, with the goal of helping Bardock master the various transformations. Time kept passing in the chamber, accelerating their progress since they spent more years than they could perceive. For some reason, 
However, time didn't affect their ages, as if they were frozen in time in some way, which was fortunate, as they could continue training without the risk of dying. Bardock didn't take long to accumulate enough power to unlock his next transformation, Super Saiyan 2. After achieving that, they moved on to one of the most complicated transformations, one that not many had achieved, Super Saiyan 3. This form required more than just physical effort. It also demanded a strong and determined mindset. At that moment, Bardock was making a great effort to reach this form. You could even see the veins in his body bulging as his hair shone constantly. Goku was watching him closely to guide him and help him succeed, as Bardock was close to achieving it. Come on, father! I know you can do it! He said, encouraging Bardock as he tried to transform. Bardock continued raising his power to the limit, pushing his body to reach the transformation, letting out powerful roars from the effort. Suddenly, Bardock's hair started to grow a little, and at that moment, he released a massive amount of power, making his hair grow even longer. In this way, Bardock finally achieved Super Saiyan 3. The transformation was impressive, and his power was immense, with energy bolts surrounding him along with a tremendous aura. Goku was surprised and excited to see that his father had achieved Super Saiyan 3, as his appearance was incredible. You did it, father! Goku said with admiration. Thanks, Kakarot. Honestly, I didn't expect to achieve it. It was a rush of adrenaline. Bardock responded, feeling somewhat tired from the effort he had just made to reach that form. Now you just have to get used to it. That transformation drains a lot of energy. Can you handle that? Of course I can. Don't underestimate your father, Bardock said, smiling with excitement. From that moment on, Bardock continued training to master the Super Saiyan 3 form so that it wouldn't consume so much energy when he used it. The time chamber made the years continue to pass, during which Bardock spent day after day improving his control over that transformation. After a few years, Bardock managed to perfect the use of Super Saiyan 3, something Goku hadn't yet mastered as he had been focusing on his divine forms. In fact, now that Bardock had mastered that state, it was time for Goku to teach his father how to control divine ki, so they could move on to even more powerful forms. Training for divine energy wouldn't be easy, as it was a power akin to that of a god, something Bardock was completely unfamiliar with, since until then, he had only known regular ki for transformations. So after that, Goku showed his father the Super Saiyan God form, which left Bardock completely stunned because he couldn't perceive the power that Goku was emitting. But somehow he could sense how imposing the presence of Super Saiyan God was compared to the third form. To help Bardock understand the difference in Divine Ki, Goku made him fight against him, as it was the fastest way for him to learn. From that moment on, they would continue battling each other daily in the time chamber. Those days spent training were actually years, so their progress was both rapid and significant. Thanks to all those battles, Bardock was able to learn how to use divine energy like Goku, thus achieving Super Saiyan God and, eventually, he was able to access Super Saiyan Blue as well. Every transformation Bardock achieved was a monumental accomplishment and demonstrated his immense potential. Wow, father, you've exceeded all expectations. You're more dedicated to this than I am, Goku said with pride. I can't believe you've had to go through this kind of training for so long. The one who should be surprised is me, Bardock responded with a smile. Despite all the challenges of being trapped in the time chamber, both Saiyans made great progress over the years they spent inside. But aside from all their training, each battle, every technique, and every moment they shared strengthened the bond between the two. Father. Now that you can transform into the blue form, I've been thinking of a new technique. What do you think about combining our attacks? Goku suggested during a training session. I know we usually like to fight on our own, but I'm curious to see the results of this. Well, I suppose we don't lose anything by trying, Kakarot. So let's do it. Bardock responded with enthusiasm. After that, they both aligned themselves to be in sync ready to test out a combined technique that merged Goku's Kamehameha with Bardock's final spirit cannon. Both transformed into Super Saiyan Blue at the same time, causing their auras to grow suddenly in size, surrounded by lightning due to the overflow of their power. Kamehameha! Then, 
they both began charging their respective energy attacks to combine them into one. In an instant, they released all that energy forward, letting it merge to form a very powerful attack. Goku's Kamehameha traveled in a straight line, while Bardock's final spirit cannon, being an energy sphere, spun rapidly around the Kamehameha. The result was a devastating attack that combined the strength and precision of both warriors. When the attack struck the ground of the time chamber, a tremendous explosion shook the infinite space. Even Goku was surprised by the result of that technique. Wow, that was amazing! Goku exclaimed, marveling at the power of their combined technique. It really was. I've become stronger than I ever thought possible. Bardock responded with a satisfied smile. After unleashing such a tremendous attack, the two took a moment to rest after their intense training. Bardock glanced at Goku, his expression turning a bit more serious. You know, I wish I had this strength when the planet was attacked by Frieza. Maybe then, planet Vegeta wouldn't have been destroyed, and we could have spent more time together. Bardock said, recalling the moment he was killed defending planet Vegeta, and how he sent Kakura to Earth as a baby. Goku looked at his father intently, feeling moved by his words. But despite everything that happened, I don't regret sending you to Earth. It gave you a better life. I want you to know how proud I am of you. You've accomplished incredible things and helped me reach levels of power I never thought possible. Goku smiled at his father's heartfelt words, feeling a deep connection with them. Thank you, but none of what I accomplished would have been possible without you and everything you did. You're an inspiration to me. Bardock nodded, clearly touched by his son's words. You're right, but the best thing now is to keep moving forward, Kakarot. There's still so much more to discover and learn. After a good rest, both of them stood up, ready to resume their training once more. They felt more inspired than ever to keep pushing themselves to see what they were truly capable of. Now that they both had mastered their divine forms, it was time to test each other again. Taking their combat stances, they prepared for their next challenge. Don't hold back this time, Kakarot. Give me a real fight. All right, then get ready, because here I come. At that moment, the bond between father and son was stronger than ever. They both smiled at each other, their gazes locked. Now, one of the toughest battles between father and son was about to begin, pushing them to their limits once again. After the intense training between Goku and Bardock in the hyperbolic time chamber, they had finally reached unimaginable levels especially for Bardock, who never expected to achieve all those Super Saiyan transformations. Both warriors had explored and mastered each of their transformations, pushing them to the limit, so the time had finally come for a showdown in their Super Saiyan Blue forms. Bardock, with his radiant blue aura, looked at his son with determination. Kakarot, this will be our most intense battle. Show me the power of this blue form, Bardock said assuming a fighting stance. Goku, also transformed into Super Saiyan Blue, smiled with excitement. Of course, father. Let's give it everything we've got. He responded, preparing for the battle. After those final words, the fight began with an explosion of speed and power as both Saiyans launched themselves at each other to deliver the first strike. It was clear that they were moving so fast that they were barely visible or perceptible. The blows echoed like thunder, and energy explosions illuminated the time chamber. Everything seemed evenly matched in this brief opening, as they managed to dodge and block each other's strikes. You're incredibly fast, father! Goku exclaimed as he dodged an attack. And you're incredibly strong, Kakarot! Bardock responded, blocking a blow with his arm. The intensity of the battle was impressive, as both Saiyans exchanged attacks with extraordinary precision and speed. Every move and technique was executed flawlessly, showcasing the incredible skill and experience of both warriors. In one of those exchanges of blows, the impact made both of them step back, creating some distance between them. But instead of wasting time, they quickly charged their energy attacks and launched them instantly. Kamehameha! Goku shouted, unleashing his powerful energy attack. Final Spirit Cannon! Bardock quickly responded, doing the same to counter his son's attack. Both techniques shot through the air at high speed, 
flashing mid-air and creating a massive explosion that shook the entire chamber. The force of the blast pushed both warriors back, but they stood their ground, watching to see whose attack would prevail. Don't hold back, Kakarot! Give me everything you've got! Bardock exclaimed, increasing his power to enhance the strength of his energy attack. Alright, father! Let's go all out! Goku responded, pushing his energy to the max, making his Kamehameha grow in size. The ground trembled beneath their feet, and the air vibrated with the immense energy they were unleashing. After a few moments, both attacks gave way and exploded, causing a massive shockwave and generating a thick cloud of smoke. But once again, that didn't stop the two Saiyans, who teleported several times to close the gap between them not planning on taking a single break in this father-son duel. When they clashed again, their blows echoed like thunder, and explosions lit up the vast white space of the time chamber. It was clear that both Saiyans were giving it their all, pushing their abilities to the limit. You have so much potential, Kakarot! You never cease to amaze me! Bardock exclaimed as he blocked one of the many blows Goku was throwing. And you have an incredible fighting spirit! You're truly a warrior, father! Goku responded as he continued to unleash a flurry of rapid punches while simultaneously blocking his father's attacks. The battle became even fiercer as the minutes passed, with their strikes so powerful that the ground beneath them cracked, and the energy explosions released bright flashes throughout the time chamber. Their speed had reached such heights that they were now impossible to perceive, both continuously growing stronger and learning more about themselves. It was evident that Goku had a better mastery of the Super Saiyan Blue form, as his energy consumption was much lower than Bardock's, who had only recently learned to use this form without tiring. But he needed to take it to the next level if he wanted to progress. At a certain moment, both grabbed each other's fists, locking their punches in place, and it was clear that both were struggling to hold back the force of their attacks. Their arms trembled from the effort it took to contain each other's fists due to the immense strength and power they both possessed. Just as I expected from you, son. You don't give in easily. I can say the same. You never back down from your opponent. After those brief comments, Goku unleashed more power than Bardock, causing him to release Goku's fists under the intense pressure of his energy. In that small moment of distraction, Goku took advantage and landed a powerful punch to Bardock's stomach, making him gasp from the force. But instead of backing off, Bardock gathered all the strength he could in one of his arms, clenched his fist, and returned the punch to Goku in the same spot. The impact made Goku tremble from the sheer power behind the blow. Despite this, Goku gave a slight smile, happy that the battle wasn't going to be easy. This is only getting more interesting. Bardock showed a bit more confidence in response to Goku's words, knowing that the rhythm of the fight was only improving. After this exchange, their strikes became so powerful that blocking them was incredibly difficult, resulting in both receiving several blows to their bodies. This gradually tore their outfits and left noticeable scratches on their faces. Their ability to adapt to the fight was remarkable, and it only grew with the advantages offered by the Time Chamber. Their fierce battles seemed to have no end, despite the exhaustion they were feeling from the intensity of the fight. Both continued for a long time until they were completely worn out, lying on the ground, severely injured. It was clear that both had succumbed to the exhaustion of the battle, so they decided to take a good rest to recover. While resting on the ground, Goku and Bardock took the opportunity to talk a little about how they felt after their fight. You're a great warrior, father. I've learned so much from you in this time we've spent together. Everything I've been told about you has been more than true." Goku said with admiration as he was still catching his breath. After a few minutes of rest, Goku gathered enough energy to sit up and looked at his father with a satisfied smile. And you've shown me that you're a son worthy of a Saiyan, just as I expected from you, Kakarot. Bardock responded with pride as he also lifted himself slightly off the ground to sit up like his son. Due to his father's words, Goku stood up at that moment and approached Bardock, extending his hand to help him up. Bardock accepted the gesture, and as they stood, both Saiyans looked at each other with mutual respect. After that, they took full advantage of the time to let their bodies heal completely, which didn't take long since time worked differently in the chamber. Once they had recovered, 
they decided to resume training. This place has allowed us to go beyond our limits, but there are still things I need to show you, father. That's true, and to be honest, I'm eager to see what else you've got to show me. Goku, with a serious but enthusiastic expression, said, You'll see, there's a technique I've recently mastered. It goes beyond the Super Saiyan Blue transformation. It's called Ultra Instinct. At that moment, Bardock frowned at Goku's statement, intrigued by what he had just said. Ultra Instinct? What kind of technique is that? It's a state that goes beyond mere power. It's not just brute strength, but a way to free the mind and body. Let's just say it allows you to move and react without thinking, as if your body moves on its own. A state where the body acts purely on instinct? Bardock asked, trying to grasp the magnitude of what his son was explaining. Exactly! It's not easy to reach or maintain, but once you do, your power elevates to a completely new level. It's something that can't be taught in the traditional sense. You have to experience it yourself, feel it, and let your body understand it. Bardock nodded slowly, processing all the information Goku had shared. Sounds like a challenge worthy of a Saiyan. I'm more than ready to learn it, Kakarot. Goku smiled enthusiastically, thrilled that his father accepted the challenge. Alright, let's begin. You need to clear your mind of any distractions. Don't think about your movements. Just feel the flow of the battle and let your body react on its own. Since it's pretty complex, I'll demonstrate it to you right here. I couldn't do it properly before. With those words, Goku adopted a defensive stance, inviting Bardock to attack him to test his instincts. Bardock watched him carefully, and in an instant, he launched himself at his son with a series of rapid punches. But just as he did, Goku activated Ultra Instinct, his hair turning a silver hue. He effortlessly dodged Bardock's attacks, leaving Bardock stunned as he noticed a difference in Goku's movements. Kakarot, you're not blocking my attacks. You're just... evading them, Bardock said, perplexed by the fluidity of Goku's movements. Exactly, father. I'm not thinking about how to dodge. I'm just doing it because my body is reacting by instinct, without my mind intervening. That's Ultra Instinct. Goku responded as he continued to dodge Bardock's strikes with ease. Bardock stopped for a moment after launching several blows, now understanding a bit more about how it worked. Alright father, now try it yourself. In that moment, Bardock took a deep breath, closing his eyes for a second to focus. When he opened them again, he charged at Goku, trying to abandon his thoughts and let his body act on its own. Goku smiled as he sensed a change in Bardock's energy, realizing that his father was taking it seriously. That's it, father. Don't rush it. Just feel the flow of the battle. As Goku said this, Bardock threw a punch aimed at Goku's face. But this time his strike was more fluid, less forced. Although Goku dodged it, he could feel the difference in Bardock's technique. Well done, father. You're starting to understand it. Goku praised Bardock while stepping back to give him space to continue. Bardock breathed deeply, absorbing the new sensation in his body, and charged again this time without thinking about his next move, allowing his instincts to guide his attacks. His punches and kicks came with surprising speed and precision. Goku defended with the same fluidity, blocking some strikes and dodging others, but he could feel Bardock's progress with each exchange. However, despite Bardock beginning to grasp the concept of Ultra Instinct, his body soon started to tire from trying to access that state and mimic Goku's precise movements. Exhausted, Bardock nearly collapsed to the ground, his breathing heavy. You did great, father. It's tough to maintain, but you're on the right path. The state. It's unlike anything I've experienced before, Bardock commented, still catching his breath, realizing how his movements had been more natural and less premeditated compared to his usual fighting style. As you've seen, Ultra Instinct isn't just about power. It's about harmony between the mind and body. You don't have to force anything. Just let everything flow. Goku explained, watching his father closely before stepping forward and offering his hand to help him stand. But I'm sure you can learn it, just like I did. However, we'll need to push ourselves even harder. This is a state that not even the gods can master easily. Bardock grasped his son's hand and stood up, determination sparking in his eyes, fully embracing the challenge ahead. 
then I'll give it everything I've got to learn Ultra Instinct. With both Saiyans in agreement, they were ready to embark on a grueling and intense training regime, aimed at helping Bardock reach the elusive state of Ultra Instinct. Their bond as father and son grew stronger with each challenge they faced, and the road ahead promised even more intense battles as they worked together to break their limits.